In the midst of social distancing and business lockdowns, a freelance writer and a graphic artist bought a bus, converted it into a tiny home on wheels, and moved out of our four-bedroom house. One year later, we downsized to a Chevy Express. Now we travel between Texas and Pennsylvania from April through November while exploring small towns with rich histories. In the winter, we hunker down in Texas in our schoolie and dream of our next big trip. We're Alan and Teresa. And we're rolling with our nomies. Okay. So we're in Fredericksburg, Texas today, right in the heart of the hill country and the wine country here in Texas, and where uh, German immigrants set up roots many, many moons ago. So we're gonna walk around town. We've got the walking tour and we're gonna take you along and see what the culture and history of Fredericksburg has to offer us. Yeah, there you go. All right, so we're looking at the Nimitz Hotel, built in 1860. And uh, Charles Henry Nimitz Sr. purchased the property in 1855. By 1860, the Nimitz Hotel was hosting stagecoach travelers soon became a center for community activities. The steamboat facade was added in the 1870s when the hotel was expanded. Fleet Admiral Chester W. Nimitz of World War II fame spent time in his grandfather's hotel and that's why the museum is located here now. Ah, okay, makes sense. All right, so we're looking at the Priest Building, Heidel Memorial Hospital, built in 1883. Constructed by Charles F. Priest of Limestone from a quarry off Bear Mountain Road. It began with a general merchandise and hardware store on the ground floor and living quarters upstairs. In 1938, the building was expanded and converted into a hospital by Dr. Victor Kaidel. Today, it is retail and restaurant space. It's awesome. Look at those window sills. But the interesting thing is, he recessed the windows from the outside, not the inside. Those are beautiful. Okay. We are looking at the White Elephant Saloon, one of the more distinctive buildings on Main Street here in Fredericksburg. It was built by John W. Kleck. Three, door, three double doors provided entry to the saloon with the bar along the west side of the structure. The upper room of a two-story frame addition at the back of the building was the site of gambling involving higher stakes than those allowed in the main saloon. Oh, the upper room must be gone now. Yeah, I don't see it back there at all. Maybe you can see it on the other side. It may be gone. But those doors... I'm not sure with the construction. Something smells really good. Yeah. yeah, no, it's gone. Well, as if you couldn't tell, this is the Bank of Fredericksburg, built in 1898. Temple D. Smith was born in Virginia. He was commissioned by Alfred Giles to build the bank building, and it reflects the Richardsonian Romanesque design style the first floor was the bank. The second floor was Mr. Smith's residence. It served as a bank until 1936. All right, so we are scanning the market plots here on Main Street of Fredericksburg. It simply means marketplace, and this is a place where people gather. I'm guessing they have market activities here. It looks like there's a pavilion there. Maybe they've got a farmer's market. It used to be two blocks and encompassed the courthouse block. Yeah, so it's a center of activity for the town and uh, a lot of things going on here. A lot of people walking around. Yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. They got to decorate it for Christmas. It is definitely of German descent. Absolutely. So this fine specimen of the building is called the Vereins. Kirchi. That means Society Church. And it was the first public building in the settlement and located in the middle of San Saba Street, which was renamed Main Street. It served I... as the town hall for meetings, as a schoolhouse, as a lookout.
Catholic protection against the Native Americans and as a church for all faiths. This is not the original, this is a reproduction. The original structure was moved, removed following the town's Golden Jubilee in 1897. This was reconstructed in 1935, refurbished in 2020, uh, and now it's a museum. And gift shop. And gift shop. I don't think we brought out the fact that the people that settled were an offshoot of the people that settled in uh, New Braunfels. Is that right? They came from. Yeah, they probably yeah. came from the same group. Yeah, they did. Because they were the first German immigrants. Yeah. The Schwartz building was built by Charles Schwartz in 1907, made of limestone and housed a merchandise and dry goods store on the ground floor and living quarters for the Schwartz family on the second floor. The Rudolf Itz Saloon, and there's no uh, dates really known about when this was built, but based on construction methods and the complex of the main building and a log cabin in the back, date to the earliest days of Fredericksburg, served as a saloon, a butcher shop, and beer distributorship through the years. Rudolph's Saloon advertised in the 1910 Gillespie County Fair catalog that they sold ice-cold Pabst and city beer, soda, and mineral water, cigars, etc. <laughs> okay, sounds like they sold all the sins. Yeah, who knows? Maybe they had sheepskin clothes. Okay, Zion Lutheran Church was the oldest Lutheran church in the Texas Hill Country. The congregation was founded by six Lutheran families in 1852. A year later, the congregation built a rock church 50 feet long, 36 feet wide, and 18 feet high. Members hewed wood by hand and quarried the limestone. Beautiful stained glass windows in the nave symbolize the Christian church of the year. That's awesome. Gorgeous. Well, the Weber Sunday House was built in 1904 near the corner of West San Antonio and South Cherry Streets uh, by Mr. and Mrs. August Weber. It was moved to the grounds of the Pioneer Museum in 1972, and the small house furnished in much the same style as when the Webbers used it. But we're not going in. They charge an admission fee. And I think they're closed today. Yeah, I think most of them are. Many of the original Sunday houses were enlarged and remodeled over the years. So this property offers an authentic glimpse of a Sunday house. It's a house that they only used on Sundays when they came into town for church. I believe. Let I could be wrong. See. We're going to Google this. What is a Sunday house? Okay, can you... Google, what is a Sunday house? Oh, Lord. You would think I said Sunday how. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, Sunday houses. Texas State Historical Association says a Sunday house where small second dwellings maintained near a church as a weekend place of residence. They so were, they used them when they came into town for church. Yeah, they were popular in the late 1800s among farmers and ranchers who lived in areas too remote to permit commuting to services. <laughs> Okay. Cool. The Kamla House was built in 1849 by German settler Henry Kamla. And in the back, there was a smokehouse and rooms that were added in 1875. They ran a general store from 1875 to 1924 in the front room. Marian Kirchi, the old St. Mary's Catholic Church, the one on the right, is was built in 1863. Construction began in 1860 by the parishioners. They built a cruciform typical of early Christian churches with 12 Gothic arched windows commemorating the 12 apostles and originally had clear glazed glass which was replaced with blue cathedral glass. 
Next to it is the newer church completed in 1908. Still referred to by many local residents as the new church. Known as one of the painted churches of Texas, St. Mary's is adorned with beautiful stained glass and stenciling and is an outstanding example of Gothic architecture. That church, we could see it from blocks away. Yeah, blocks away. And we away. had to. That spire is gorgeous. It's an absolutely gorgeous church. And they also have a Catholic school that was founded in 1856. So, been here for a minute. Oh, well, here's the old Gillespie County Jail. Built in 1885, a stone structure housed a holding area and living quarters for the jailer on the ground floor and steel-clad cells on the second floor. Oh, like Freestone, uh, Freestone County. Yes, yeah. And you can refer to that video. It'll be linked up here somewhere. Yeah, the building was used as a county jail until 1939. Wow. All right, we're looking at the old Gillespie County Courthouse, built in 1882. It's now the Pioneer Memorial Library. It was uh, erected in 1881-82, the second courthouse in Gillespie County, and was used until 1939. It was designed by Alfred Giles, using the native stone structure to present a fine balance and symmetry. Mr. and Ms. Eugene McDermott provided the funds to restore the building as a library in 1966 and 67. Now, they made a mistake of building the new courthouse right next to it. And you can see it and right there. And that is one ugly courthouse. Yeah, it kind of looks like Kaufman County. It looks a lot like Kaufman County and it would be ugly by itself. But when you add a courthouse that is as pretty from the back as it is from the front, and here's a picture of the back of it. Right next to it, that one looks sad. That new one looks real sad. Yeah, so we'll get a picture of the front of the building, but uh, don't expect it in the video. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll put it in the video. I'll put the front of the new courthouse right here. Frank, Frank van der Stoeken was a native of Antwerp, Belgium and came to Texas at age 15 in the company of Henry Castro, who was a French colonizer. He married Sophie Schoenwolf. Their son, Frank Valentin van der Stucken, was born in this house on October 15, 1858. He studied with Advard Grieg and Karl Reinecke in Leipzig, became a noted American composer, director of the Aryan Manartur in New York City and conductor of the Cincinnati Symphony. Okay, the Shandua building is made of hand-hewn limestone built in 1897. That was the home of John and Bertha Shandua. They lived upstairs and John's hardware store was downstairs. Hardware businesses were operated there until 1972. The original use of the building continues with retail downstairs and residential use upstairs. Well, that concludes our tour of Fredericksburg uh, here in uh, Central Texas. You know, for a town of 11,000 people, they got a lot going on here. It's really only 11,000? Because 11, I think 000. I saw 15,000 on the streets today. Yeah, well, a lot of these people are just here for, you know, the biscuits and... No, there's a football game in town. Yeah, I mean... It's evidently a tourist attraction. There's a lot going on. I like Fredericksburg. It's a beautiful town. It was founded in 1846. You can see a lot of German influence here, which is pretty obvious. And the buildings are gorgeous. The whole town is just beautiful. This and we only did a part of their walk. Yeah, we just tour. walked Main Street. We didn't do the whole tour. Um, but you can tell from the architecture, even the newer buildings are styled like the older buildings, so they can fit in. Uh, they've done a very good job of preserving the culture and the history of the town. While still growing the town. While still growing the town, and it's beautiful. The streets are wide. Uh, I was really uh, taken aback by how wide they really are. You're crossing the street and you're like taking forever to get across the street. <laughs> and the founders <laughs> laid it out that way. They wanted a whole um, 
team of oxen to be able to go down each side of the street. So you're talking two well, teams of oxen I side guess, by side. I guess they succeeded. Because they do have wide streets, and, but the, the buildings are beautiful. Uh, the shops are gorgeous. Uh, some of them are in the old. E even a lot of the buildings that you see along the streets are older buildings, but they're not on the tour. You know they're older buildings. Right. Uh, they're just, they're built that way. Uh, and and a lot right. of them are dated, and, and they're just not on the tour because maybe, the tour's maybe, full. Yeah, but maybe they don't have the history on those buildings, or they just didn't see fit to include them for whatever. But uh, there's a lot on the tour, and it's a beautiful town, so next time you're in the Texas Hill Country, be sure to pay a visit to Fredericksburg. Alright, if I don't do this right, then my wife's, I'm going to be on the bad side of my wife. So y'all bear with me and pray for me. But while you're doing that, don't forget, share us with your friends. Like us if you like us. Like us if you don't. Subscribe to the channel. It helps us out. God bless.